Sick Jane. So, I mean, what an incredible exhibition. Could you talk us through sort of the very basics of what people can expect when they come down? Well, we have uh, four in excess of 40 couples in the show, so that's 80 artists. So it's a wonderfully rich, diverse exploration of creativity within a relationship. Uh, many different types of couple, homosexual, heterosexual, uh, bisexual, uh, a, a trans couple, um, polyamorous relationships, and many different kinds of relationship, but most importantly, many different kinds of art. So this is a very inter interdisciplinary exhibition. So painting, sculpture, photography, design, architecture, literature, and music. So there's, it's a really rich treasure trove of work. Um, that's sort of something for everyone within the exhibition. But the visitor is invited to enter into each of the worlds of these couples. So each couple is either given their own space or a space in dialogue with another couple. And so you can really enter into the kind of world of this couple. Um, so the work itself is enriched with further photographs, uh, really candid photographs of the artist, quotations from their letters, from their poetry, from manifestos. So you can hear the voice of the artist, you can see the couple. And we've really tried to uh, bring work together that really speaks about the importance of the relationship, how they influenced each other, um, you know, the kind of inspiration uh, and co-authorship, collaboration, uh, the affinities between the couple, but the work of the couple. So hopefully the the visitor will really get a sense of that and, and the artists are really brought alive. So just picking up on um, something you mentioned in there, the fact that it is so diverse and it's not just, you know, uh, homosexual couples or trisexual and all that sort of things. It's actually very, you're walking around this exhibition and you notice sort of how female-led it is as well. Um, even so much so as having the females at the top of everything yeah. compared to the males afterwards. Why is this so important? Why did you sort of make that decision for this exhibition in particular? Well, one of our intentions, um, I mean, the, let me start again. The principal intention was to talk about the way in which, or to show the way in which developments within modern art were not just the outcome of solo genius. And that's usually male solo genius. So it was really important for us to stress the importance of collaboration and co-authorship, but equally to foreground the work of the women in the relationship who are often, let's face it, overshadowed by their more famous male partners. So this has been a great platform to do that and, and to show the richness and diversity of women artists in the first half of the 20th century. And do you think that's really sort of relevant, especially for nowadays, to have an exhibition that does highlight sort of the female artists on right now? This exhibition is very timely in a number of ways. It's timely because, of course, we're all talking about relationships. We're all talking about gender identity. We're all trying to work it all out, you know, kind of what, how can we live meaningful lives and have meaningful relationships. So this is really about, you know, the intoxication of art in a way. I mean, what, what brought these couples together? I mean, it was, it was usually that, that, that art provided this liberated space. It, it, they were drawn to their partners because they were creative. They create, you know, through art, it gave them this platform to be experimental. It was this playground of experimentation. Uh, and there's a real excitement as well, as well as a tenderness in the exhibition that, 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 you know, each of the spaces, and I hope the visitor feels that. Well, no, absolutely. Um, I mean, you can just walking around, you can see how intimate it is and it just makes you feel really sort of comforted wandering around. Um, how did you even begin to start picking the couples that are on display here? Because there are, of course, would you say there's 40? Or is it 80? Uh, there are, there are a slightly more than 40. Okay. And there's two exhibitions within an exhibition. There are about communities about us, so it's a very big exhibition. Okay, I, I know, wandering around, it just takes forever. But, I mean, it's, you can get sucked in for a day here, at least. Um, how did you begin to pick the couples? Well, we wanted to include a mix of legendary couples... Um, you know, so Picasso is here, Frida Kahlo is here, Rodin is here, Kandinsky is here. Um, but we wanted to show them, the male artists, in a new light. So male artists who were collaborating, actually. Male artists who were also the muses to their partners. Um, so that was, that was one guiding direction. Uh, but to have a diversity, as I say, of relationships, a diversity of different kinds of art... 
um, and just essentially this is the story here of modern art in the first half of the 20th century it's just that it's seen through the lens of the couple um, and we could have you know we could have made a much bigger exhibition but it would you'd have needed to be here all day and and we had I think we had in excess of 200 couples to begin with and it was really hard to to narrow it down because there was so much uh, you know, creativity within within relationships at this the, at this point in time, uh, which suggested to us the importance of the exhibition. Amazing. And last question. So the exhibition we have established it is so diverse. It is so huge as well. How long did it take you to put this on? <laughs> Well, I have been working on it fairly solidly for two and a half years, um, and we've made a 350-page book as well. So it's been a lot of work. It's probably the most uh, complex exhibition that we've ever staged here in terms of the number of loans. So there's 400, uh, you know, 400 plus exhibits. Some, some of my colleagues actually tell me it's more, but. Um, uh, so you know there's an enormous amount of research has gone into the exhibition because it's not just about the art it's also about the lives that these artists led but my our partners in Centre Pompidou du Metz because this was a collaboration with four curators um, they were working on the gestation of the project before that as well so I think it's probably been about four years in entirety a yeah, very big project well you should go and celebrate your achievements thank you so much for talking thank to you. us thank, thank you, you.